So first thing we've got to do is we've got to double check our moisture area. Radar doesn't work on high moisture because it gets absorbed. So we need to highlight and pinpoint the extremities of that moisture to enable us to use the radar. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. So what we're going to do, we'll just show you here when we turn on the on the moisture sensor what happens. Now this is an, this is an important thing to do. Always stand the unit up, the sensor area needs to be open. So as we open the moisture here, you'll see what it's doing is running through its calibration process. It is a bit of a humid day today, there's been some rain around. So what's happening is it's going to factor that into the equation. So now we're open. So I'm just going to run it across the wall over here uh, and we'll see what sort of figures we're getting. So I'm just down low. So that's not an unusual sort of a figure for where I'm located and time of year. Now we're starting to climb up. So all I'm going to do is just roughly in this area where it is altering, just put a general, just a little pencil mark on the wall. So I'm still going along. See that's, that's elevated moisture. Now we're just starting to break off. So just generally speaking, the close area, just another pencil mark. So what we have to do now, we need to flick over to the relative meter. So to do that, direct moisture on off. We're now on relative. So this is what we're going to use to pinpoint the extremities of the moist area. So all I'm going to do is roughly go back to the center of my wall. Uh, where I had that moisture. I will now hold that on the wall over on anywhere in this white box. I've now referenced it to that wall area's moisture, my moisture, humidity of the day and so forth. So now I'm just sliding along the wall. We can see now red's come out, red's peaked. So that's telling me I'm to the least amount of moisture along this area, comparison to where I referenced it. So now I'm just going to come back sliding back towards where I referenced it. Now just on the screen there we see that red's just disappeared. That now has become the exact extremities of the moisture. I'm going to use that central to where my sensor is and mark the wall. So over on the wall here we can just see this mark here. That was our extremities this way. This mark here is our height. So along here, roughly this height slightly changes to our extremities here. It is quite high now, that is above the bottom plate. So it is indicating that there is quite a bit of moisture, more than likely it's due to the uh, ensuite shower that is leaking. But we're going to investigate because as we know, moisture is highly conducive to termites. They generally won't be in that high amount of moisture. However, they will come towards it as a, as a condition and usually on the fringes. So what we've got to do now, we need to get onto the radar and check for any action, motion traveling to and for that area. 